Hello, welcome to Vito Academy for another session of our Java course. In this session, the topic for discussion is the in inheritance. So let's try to understand from a real world example that what is the concept of inheritance, and then we'll talk about the Java inheritance. So, for example, if a person owns a business, so his son can inherit that business from the person. So what it mean? It means that. when the son inherited the business from the father now the son is also the owner of that business it means uh, some uh, the, that business or that entity is now passed from one person to another person which is his son okay in the same way in the java uh, uh, the attributes of the class can pass to the next class or can accessible to the next class when a class can when a class will be inherited from a class so let's take the example of the vehicle class vehicle class have two attributes first one is the color which is of string type is a private attribute second is the uh, price which is the integer type and the private so the constructors uh, default constructor private constructor then the getters and then the setter methods of the attributes so let's inherit a class car class from the vehicle so let's make a new class okay right now This is a standalone single class. If we want to inherit the vehicle class, we'll use the word extends. Now, the class car extends the vehicle class. It means the class car is now have the attributes string, attribute color, and the integer attribute um, price. from the vehicle class let's make a new attribute the model okay let's make the a constructor default constructor of car public it will be a public function of because i just told you car is now inheriting from the vehicle it means that the attribute the color and the price is also the attributes of the car class so firstly we need to call the constructor of the super class which is vehicle class in this class and then we'll initialize this variable of this attribute so to call the constructor of the super class we always use the word super in java super and parenthesis it means default constructor of the super class now initialize the model let's say 2000 okay let's build the parameterized constructor of the car okay here the method is the same we need to call the super super class constructor first and then we'll initialize the model okay let's call the super class in super class or in vehicle class the order of the parameters are following first there is the color and then there is the price so we'll follow this order color and price okay now we'll initialize the um model with the model parameter okay so we are done with the constructors 
let's call the let's make a method get model okay so int public int get model where this is will simply return this dot model let's make the setter So let's make the uh, main function and then initialize a car um, object. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Let's make an object using the parameterized constructor. Car will do. New car. And then we'll pass the parameters. So let's pass the string color. Um, let's say red. We'll pass the price. Ka one thousand. And we'll pass the model let's say 2022 okay. so let's check the function so this car class or this car uh, object of the car class have now get price which is inherited function from the super class which is the vehicle class in our case and then get model which is the function of this class so an important point is here because car class is now inherited from the vehicle class so here the subclass is the car class and the super class is the vehicle class so subclass means car class have now the attributes of the vehicle class but vehicle class do not have the attributes of the car class so for example just here um, car class have the get price function which is inherited from the vehicle class but vehicle class do not have the function of the get model it's the model attribute is purely the only the attribute of the car class yes if we will inherit another class from from the car class so that class will be the for example let if we'll make a new class let's say mercedes so that mercedes class or that Mercedes uh, subclass will have the attribute of model because it's it's directly inherited from the superclass which will be the car class in this case okay so let's check int p um, car dot get price okay so this is the inherited function let's print the price here Okay, let's check this. Okay, price is thousand. Now it is showing us the price of thousand. Okay, so that was the concept of inheritance, and uh, that was all for this session. Thank you very much. See you in the next in the next session.